just do this. Probably for our slips with the machine, that's interesting. Okay, well, no problem. What we'll do, we'll put a strap on it and pull it with the boom. Yeah, we'll probably.
That might be the coolant flow for it, actually. I have to find out. Lots of patents involved in this machine. Yep. All right. Push it back a little bit. So we get that pipe on. Yeah. All right. Now put the pipe. We're going to run up on it. Not quite. Huh? Not quite. Or maybe. It should. Okay. put them in pretty quick succession. Yeah, there's two more pipes behind you. Yep. Are they long enough? Yep. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess I can use a lever. Yeah, I don't think that would be uh, against the rules at all. I'll use the lever and you can set the pipes. Yeah. didn't seem like much of an uphill. Yeah, well, I think more of a lever. Try the digging bar. But and what's it doing instead? Uh, jamming against it. One end kind of went under, the other end jam. Huh. Okay, so we back it up. I think so. All right, give me another pipe. Huh. Huh. You notice when I lay the pipe on the floor, it's flat on one side of the crack. Eight inches away on the other side, it's about three quarters of an inch in the air. Well, though I can't, I can't really believe it. I'm the owner of a K&T milling machine. Came with a vise. This is awesome. Ah, uh, so cool. And on the back of the uh, arbor supports. had a real pleasant surprise. I didn't notice until uh, we got the machine in position, but this was in spindle, and what that is, is an R8 collet adapter. So I can run all of my Bridgeport tooling in my K&T, which is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> 